Hello Aquarius, welcome to your Lionsgate portal reading. This is going to be a short reading, however, if you are interested in getting a longer reading, I have it extended out on my website, theillusluminator.com. You can find the link in the description box below. All right, let's see what is coming up for my beautiful Aquarians. Mm -hmm. So you're about to be really noticed in the next few months, all right? Some of you may have a dream in your head or you have some type of wish and desire and you may, you may be a little bit on the edge when it comes to believing in yourself. So this is a time where you really need to be confident and really go after your, your wishes and your desires. Some of you are dealing with a lack of prosperity, but Spirit is saying that a lot of prosperity is coming your way. Only thing that you need to do is to be bold and to be brave and to make some type of a huge decision in your life. Now, this decision could take some type of risk. Um, some of you may feel like it's a, it's, a, it's a big risk. It's a big calculated risk. However, I do see that if you take this risk, you are going to be reaching something that not many people are going to reach. Now, you do know that if you take this, take this risk, it's going to bring you a lot of more responsibilities. So for some of you, you may be being asked for a higher position at work and you may feel like a little bit overwhelmed as it's going to give you a lot of more burdens and tasks and responsibilities. And you may be still figuring out whether you want to take it or not. Now, I'm not sure what you're going to do, but I do see that you're going to be receiving the power and strength to deal with the situation. So God will never put you in a situation where it will ex like exhaust you. You will receive the power and the strength to... To get this job done, okay, that's what I'm picking up on very, very strongly here. Now I'm going to see why we have that four of swords as your end card because nice. It's funny that the four of swords that I've tried to Clarify ends with another four of swords and clarifying it. We have the beautiful chariot to the three of cups. We have the knight of cups to the strength card. So I see that eventually you're going to reach your success and there are a lot of celebrations that you're going to have with the people in your surrounding. Uh, I see that you can really count on your friends, on your family, on your social environment, and they're really going to be empowering you. So even though you may feel like you're not ready for this big risk or you're not ready for this new uh, path that is opening up for you, I do strongly feel like it's going to be empowering you. Um, this is the moment where you need to put focus on your strengths and not on your on your shortcomings. I just saw 333. Uh, so believe in the impossible because I got two cards saying possible impossibilities, freedom and traveler and believe in the impossible. So seriously, Aquarius, I think that you need to believe in yourself, believe in your cap capability to get this job done, um, take the leading role. You are a leader. Some of you it may have to do with a house. You might be selling your house or you might be buying a house, which is going to bring you a lot of uh, prosperity and fortune. Uh, for others of you, like I said, this situation, it has a deadline. So it's like with the Knight of Swords here, you need to make this decision quite quickly. It, it does not really wait for you to depend on it. You need to bid on that house immediately if you want that car you need to get the car like you need to make like a fast decision and your confidence is kind of like blocking you you're like what if i make the wrong decision right i just saw 444 so 
my god aquarius you're really going on the timeline of the universe and the more synchronicities and signs that you're seeing the more that this is talking about you reaching a next level of spirituality as well as receiving the right downloads to know that you are confirmed on this path of where you're going okay of this new path that you are uh, walking on um yeah i have here another two cars that are kind of like coming out of the blue we've got the tragedy card forbidden love with the pretending fake living beyond means now this is quite a quite a weird combination what is this talking about okay letting go and walking away so someone that you've been around with but you can't seem to get on the same page this is spirit saying like time is up right like you gotta drop the ball someone's got to drop the ball this has been bringing you a lot of chaos and conflict and left you quite depleted and i feel like this is saying that maybe it's time for you to move on from a situation or a person that has not been treating you in this in a fair way right let's see last card out for you yeah, moving on and letting go, love and hate relationship. So maybe this is not the right timing for you and this lover in your life. This may not be for all of you, but for those who feel like, okay, you know, time is up with this person. You've dedicated way too much energy and attention and give them multiple chances and now you're walking away, right? So this is a confirmation saying like it's, it's a good sign for you to detach because something bigger and greater is coming in. But it will only come in when you freely release, like when you free yourself from, from this other person. When you detach yourself, when you're feeling comfortable being single and alone and moving on your own path. Okay? That's what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much. I will be back with longer readings, but for now, we have the extended. So thank you so much for your patience. I'll catch you soon. Take care.